Okay. Make sure that we're rolling. Get out of here without hitting anything. Well, let me put my window up so we don't get a bunch of road noise. We'll just go a couple miles, get this thing up to speed. I'll, this is a 55 stretch, but I think we can probably, you know, get it to 70 without causing too much of a stir. A lot of people are like, dude, you're in an ambulance, just go as fast as you want. You know, I still like to follow the rules. So uh, I'll push it a little bit, but I don't want to get too crazy. So it's got a great pickup. It's really quiet, you'll notice. And uh, I'm going to make a U-turn up here. I'm going to head back in the other direction. But uh, the alignment's great. Um, the brakes are really good. We'll, we'll get to. I'll get to show you that. Suspension is really nice with the airbag in the back, the airbag suspension. And turn around up here. We're doing 50. That was a nice, smooth 50 miles an hour. And the brakes are good here. Got a motorcycle that's coming pretty quick. All right, there we go. Bicyclists. So we're doing 65. Uh, if that guy on the motorcycle wasn't there, I could pop in the next lane and uh, hit 70 rather easy. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to let him get away from us and then uh, I'll get back on the accelerator. Okay, so we're basically at 55 right now. I'm going to keep it on there. I'm going to punch it. And there's plenty left in that. I mean, this thing will uh, do whatever you need to get. <laughs> It'll do more than you want your cruise to to, uh, to do. So uh, we'll keep it, bring it back down to 60. So it drives great. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're a, a truck guy, it you know definitely feels different than a van ambulance. It's, it, there's more hood out in front. Plus, you got that deer bumper. Uh, it definitely feels like a man truck. This is a man ambulance. Uh, and it feels like it's a little bit more bumpy than a, than a van. Vans uh, have a shorter wheelbase, so it's a little smoother. But, uh, but then with the van, you don't get the 4x4. So the 4x4 is pretty key. That's a pretty big feature, in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to pull up uh, to the next big turnaround, which I think is here. Yeah, and then I'm going to flip around. And that will conclude our test drive. I mean, you know, I think you get the idea. All the needles are where they're supposed to be. And uh, this thing doesn't need anything. You could, you could run calls today. All right, I'm going to punch it again. The, uh, the 6.4 motor is a lot more quiet than the 6.0. That was a rock that just hit the wheel well from the tire. But the 6.0 motor is uh, 
louder. It, it, it's it's louder than the six four. It, the seven three is the loudest of all of them because there's nothing uh, filtering that exhaust. But uh, this has a twin turbo, uh, and there's got plenty of pickup, man. It's fast. So if you have any questions, uh, definitely uh, give me a call at 323-228-2842 or text me. You can also email me at chrismedic at yahoo.com and uh, I'll respond to, uh, to that quickly. But the, the quickest way is to, uh, to call or text. I don't check my email more than once a day. So uh, if you're looking for a quick answer to a question or something, your best bet is the phone and uh, free shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states and when i say anywhere in the lower 48 states i mean that's kind of bit me in the butt a couple times because i didn't realize michigan has some islands in the great lakes uh so i mean we'll get it to if you're you know if it's a situation like that uh <laughs> we'll get it to where the ferry you know picks vehicles up and then you'll have to get it you know the rest of the way to to the island but if you're just you know in uh, middle america or anywhere on the ends uh we'll cover the whole thing uh to your door um on a big rig it's not you know one of these little rinky dink trailers with some guy with a ram truck it'll be uh on uh on a big truck with the ramps and everything so